What is going on people? Welcome to your, let's see, 51st Java tutorial, I believe. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about GUI some more. And unlike last time, where we built a GUI that looks the same on every single um, operating system, like if you ran it on a Windows operating system and a Mac, it will look the exact same. What we want to do is we want to build an interface that when you run it on a Windows machine, that it inherits all the look and the feel of a Windows program and when you run it on a Mac machine it uses all the buttons and toolbars and title bars and windows um, as a Mac so the last one we built in the last tutorial was simple for like you know a really easy one but we're gonna be going in some complex and um, it's just a better GUI system of building interfaces so that's what I'm gonna be teaching you today so the first thing that we're gonna want to do again we're going to be working with two classes, the Apple's main class with our main method in it, and a subclass or uh, another class called Tuna right here. So in your Tuna class, or not the one without your main argument, the first thing we're going to, need to do is import a bunch of stuff to use. So the first thing we're going to import is, go ahead and type import java.awt.flowlayout and make sure you're capitalized like I am and what this is going to do is it's going to import pretty much how things are placed here that's how I can say it what this is going to do is pretty much give you the default layout managing it's going to say alright I'm going to put this here when I build my next item put it to the right of it when I build my next item put it to the right of it and once you run out of space just move to the next line so this is pretty much the layout of our thing and we don't want to have to program an entire layout so that's why we're importing that the next thing we're going to want to import is go ahead and type import java x don't forget that x and we're going to import swing dot uh, hold on dot j frame in there we go what j frame is is it pretty much gives you all the basic windows features like the title bar the minimize the maximize the x um, to close and it pretty much just gives you the basic window so we don't want to we want to use what we have already so that's why we're importing that and the last thing we're going to import in this tutorial is the J label and this is what we're going to be building and this pretty much a label is pretty much just a line of text and it also lets you do simple images but um, let's go ahead and import Java X again swing dot J label and make sure it's capitalized just like that so again this is gonna there sorry about that I had to take a little break someone knocked on my door but what J label does is it allows you to output text and images on the screen so that's why we need to import that so now we can go ahead and start programming this stuff right here the first thing we want to do is use inheritance like we did before public class tuna extends EXTENDS J frame so we need this tuna class right here to inherit all the stuff from J frame and again like I said J frame gives you all the basic windows features so now we have all of the title bars the minimize the maximize the X button that's what that does now that it's in here it inherited all those qualities let's go ahead and the first thing we're going to want to do is build a variable which is pretty much going to be our item so let's make it private and let's just go ahead j label that's what type it is and just name it like item one or something like that and this is pretty much just going to be the item that we're adding i mean you need to name it something so why not item one and now we're going to build a constructor so go ahead and type public tuna or whatever your class name is and give it empty it's not going to take any parameters and the first line in our constructor and I spelled tuna wrong the first line in our constructor is the title of the window so let's go ahead and how you do that is you put super and the only argument it takes is the title so this was going to appear in the title bar the, the title bar let's just go ahead and put that so that is how you add a title to your window the next thing we're going to want to do is set the layout, which is pretty much the default layout. So go ahead and put set layout. And all of these methods, um, like super and set layout, these are imported uh, whenever we imported everything. So set layout and 
as a parameter for this, let's just go ahead and put new flow layout right there. And what this does is pretty much give us our default layout. So this adds a title and this gives us the default layout. So now let's go ahead and start building the actual item that we wanted to build. So again, we already named it item one. So let's set item one equal to new J label. And remember, remember labels are pretty much just text. So this is how we uh, put text on the screen. And the argument for it is what you want to output on the screen. This is a sentence. Make sure you spell it wrong. And now we pretty much just have an item that says this is a sentence. All we have is text on the screen now. Now we can add some um, functionality to our item. One thing we can do is make a little scroll box pop up when you hover over it. And that scroll box is actually called a tool tip text. So we can take that item one that we just built and set tool tip text like that. And now our argument is what's going to appear when we hover over it. So what do we want to appear? This is going to show up on hover or something like that. So now we built an, a line of text on the screen and now when you hover over it, this thing's going to pop up and we use that putting the set tool tip text method, a little tongue twister. And now lastly, the last thing we want to do is add the item to the window. We made an item, we have a window, but we didn't add the item in the window. So that's easy. All you have to do is add item one. So again, don't forget, it just doesn't automatically add it for you. You have to actually add it. Why they did that, I don't know, but that's what they did. So now we have an item in pretty much our tune class is done. Now go over to your main apples class right here. And we can go ahead and start building um, the object for that or calling our tune class. So the first thing we're going to need to do is import one thing right here. Import java x dot swing make sure you spell it right dot j frame and again like I said before this pretty much gives you all the basic windows features so now let's go ahead and start uh, building an object for tuna tuna um, I'm just gonna name my object Bucky equals new tuna or whatever your class is not going to take any arguments and now you need to do a couple things to this object which is pretty much the window with a um, line of text in it what we want to do is set and this is really important set default close operation right there and what we need to put in here is how we want our program to close so put j frame dot exit underscore on underscore close all in capitals and what this does is whenever we hit the X button the program terminates if you don't have this then your program is gonna be messed up whenever you hit the X button is my screen recorder still running alright just check in now what we need to do is set a size for that object or a window so again put Bucky dot set size let me see how much time I got left two minutes so this is gonna go real quick uh, Bucky set size and let's just put it like 275 by 180 or something like that and now the last thing we need to do is Bucky set set visible and I'm gonna do this real fast set true and this pretty much means so you can see it now let's go ahead and run this and what we got right here is this is a sentence and when you hover over it it says this is going to show up on hover so again that's what we built right here this is a sentence put the title bar at the top and um, when you hover over it this is going to show up on hover now I only have 30 seconds left so I can't talk you through how we did this all again but make sure you watch the next tutorial we're going to be putting more stuff in here and I'm going to be uh, explaining how we did everything but I, again, like I said, I don't have time to do this tutorial because YouTube only lets you upload 10-minute videos. So um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next tutorial.